If you save one life, you, you have, have saved, saved the world. world. story of my life at the beginning was that uh, I overate, you know, big lunches, big dinners, steaks. Mm -hmm. In the last 20 years, uh, I've been basically at a rock between uh, 285, 275, 285 pounds. Mm -hmm. But of course, uh, I started having problems. One of the big problems is high blood pressure, cholesterol is being high, uh, all the normal Mm -hmm. things that happen when you're overweight. One day I woke up and I went to work and I went to the bathroom, looked in the mirror and my left side of my face was drooping and uh, I didn't feel anything. It was just almost totally paralyzed. Well, the first thing I thought is uh, I was having a stroke. Mm -hmm. So I went to the hospital uh, and of course they took me in right away and they took all the tests and uh, it was, and I mean, my life was just at that point, the reality was setting in that, oh my God, this is gonna totally change my life. Well, my blood pressure, uh, I guess it's hereditary. My father died of heart disease. He comes from an Italian, New York Italian background. So he eats a lot of carbs and a lot of bad food, lots of salt. And I had the same body type as him. And I had just turned 50. And a friend of mine who's a patient of Dr. Benzer said, you know what, you should get your heart checked. Uh, Dr. Benzer checked uh, my pressure and said it was one of the worst pressures he's ever dealt with to manage. There was a problem. There was, there was, there was two main blockages that were almost totally blocked. I had to make a decision. 99% of the doctors that looked at my case basically said, bypass surgery, get it over with. I've operated on over 100,000 people in terms of various cardiac procedures and operations. And I always got into the habit of asking people, you know, what did you eat right before your heart attack? What did you eat yesterday? Um, and it's always the same thing. It's always, you know, meat and, you know, fatty substances. So I've really come to understand the importance of proper nutrition over the years. Meat and chicken and fish and dairy substances are all in the same category of inflammatory substances, things that cause inflammation in your arteries. And when you have an inflamed artery, you're much more prone to have a heart attack. The nutrition is a huge problem in the country mm -hmm. and probably the cause of lots of ailments and diseases. Mm -hmm. You may be out of luck. It may be that modern medicine can help you, and maybe not. And I'm, I did not come up through the ranks of medicine um, learning about proper nutrition. It's really by kind of trial and error, if you will, that I figured out that you know, the people that ate healthy did a lot better than those who didn't. Um, it's just as simple as that. If you give somebody really a plant diet, mostly vegetables, um, they do much, much better. And we've had many, many patients who had completely blocked arteries, um, who then got on a perfect diet, and six months later, their, their problems reversed to a large amount. So Dr. Benzo introduced me to saying, there's one other way to do it, but 90% of the people did not follow through on it and really don't do it right. And I said, what is it? Plant diet is really, in my opinion, it's really based mostly on vegetables. So it's vegetables is 99% of it. There's no question in my mind that if you eat mostly vegetables and very little of other things, you're going to do much, much, much better than the people who do, you know, other diet plans. There's just that's that's the data, and that's also, you know, my experience. You know, people thought that you had to eat meat and chicken and fish in order to have enough protein. That was the myth that was propagated for many, many years. You know, I think that the much bigger and broader problem for, for most of the people that we see is overnutrition. And that's what causes arthritis and back problems and dementia and, you know, and cancer and heart disease and everything else. At the beginning, the first week or two, it was a little difficult. 
but I had my mindset. I mean, once I set up my mind, it's amazing. You have to be ready to have a change in your life. I lost like in six months, I lost about 70 pounds plus. And I exercise every day. You start taking my blood tests to see my cholesterol. And I was shocked. When you start seeing results, and empowers you to say, wow, I've never felt this good. You know, the results are coming in positive. Everything is in a positive mode, which makes me a lot more uh, eager to continue and to make sure that I keep going. Miraculously, he got it down by a lot, just through a plant-based diet, medication, and exercise. And it makes me feel better, gives me more energy, um, and keeps my pressure down which is what we want. I feel better than I did 10 years ago. And I feel younger and I have a lot more energy than I did 10 years ago. So the results are unbelievable. You know, it's, you just gotta be self-aware of what is you're putting in your body. Mm -hmm. Because plants are filled with vitamins and minerals and you know, they just have everything that, that your body needs. I think I had a really good incentive to go on a plant-based diet, which is basically my life. Eat your veggies for a healthy heart. You know that you'll be doing something smart. Yes, you should. Oh, yeah. So you can feel so good. Oh.